Have you settled down? The scene is being inspected without you. This time the body didn't disappear. However, you lost consciousness. I didn't expect you to faint. Seeing that corpse must have been incredibly shocking. I did not predict you to be the fainting type. I suppose humans are unpredictable. Now that you're back, let's get back to business. You are conscious, are you not? Are you at a loss for words? Date, don't let negative thoughts consume you. Thinking that Iris died because of me. If I never took her to Ota's, this wouldn't have happened. If you truly believe that, then your brain is completely rotten. Or perhaps when you saw the corpse, your head became filled with images of blooming yellow dandelions. What? Oh, you're talking now. Was I correct? If you consider the situation logically, even an elementary school student would understand. Huh? Fine. Allow me to pluck some of those dandelions from your mind. I will ask three questions. Please answer honestly. First question. The cold storage warehouse was not in regular operation. But even so, the AC was on, and a minus 58 degree temperature was maintained. Why is that? something yes let us move on to the next question second question there was something strange about the corpse do you remember what that was iris's body was completely frozen Temperature read negative 58. With Iris's weight. Just wondering, but how much do you weigh? Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady that? 105 pounds. I see. 105, huh? It should have taken about 18 hours to freeze solid. But we were. Wait a moment. Before you draw your conclusion, allow me to ask my final question. Question three. Two days ago, Sunday night, you found a dead body in the cold storage warehouse. But afterward, you visited the Sagan household and discovered that Iris was in fact still alive. Why? Got it. is completely frozen. Getting a more thorough look would require removing the cloth. However, we would not want to be disrespectful. You can use a certain vision mode instead. I don't believe it. The stomach is swollen slightly. She appears to have been pregnant. 
How? Do not worry. The uterus does not contain a fetus. You mean, after she was killed? No. The fetus was not present in her body when she was killed. She must have been killed after giving birth. The distended stomach does not immediately shrink after birth. The expanded uterus takes some time to return to its normal size. This evidence makes one thing perfectly obvious. This corpse isn't Iris. It's someone else. Which means? Iris is still alive. Not necessarily. She could be alive. We haven't confirmed that yet. Multiple stab wounds with a single-edged, sharp object to the victim's back. Judging by the size and shape of the marks, the weapon was most likely a kitchen knife. This matches what you said on Sunday. So this is the body I saw then. Is there an estimated time of death? Impossible to determine. This body has been completely frozen for at least ten years. Ten years? She was killed more than ten years ago? Exactly. Her identity is unknown. Her killer is also unknown. But there is one likely suspect. Who? Let's consider the clues. The scene. Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. Sunday night, we saw So here. And there is something else about So Sejima. We witnessed someone similar to Iris being stabbed repeatedly in So Somnium. But it wasn't Iris. It was this woman. That is highly likely. What we saw was So's memory from more than ten years ago. I believe that is the case. Renju and So? But we still do not know where Renju is. That means that we need to talk to... So Sejima. I thought I told you, never to show your face here again. I didn't come here for Shoko today. I didn't come here for Iris either. Instead, I'm here for a girl who looks like Iris. Did you kill her? Date, look. I knew it. You killed her, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. 
I've had enough of your shit, Congressman! You wanted to check on the body of the girl you killed. That's why you were at the cold storage warehouse two days ago. Where is Renju Okiura? You know where he is, don't you? You were at an Okiura fishery warehouse for a reason. There's definitely a connection between you two. And that's not all. Number 89 called your secretary. The same number 89 that Renju escaped with. Now tell me, where is Renju? We'd like to ask you to please leave. Damn it, so! There's nothing we can do. We did arrive without a warrant. We were technically trespassing. If he had called the police, we would be in a predicament. We would have been detained immediately. Who would look after Iris then? Do you intend to leave your responsibility with Mizuki and Ota? Ugh. Calm down, Date. We still have our lead. Lead? Before I explain, we need to discuss the corpse in the cold storage warehouse. Let's get her a name. Because she is frozen solid, we could call her All Ice or Alice. What do you think? Alice and Iris. I believe it fits nicely. All right, Alice. What about her? Someone might be able to identify her. Who? Allow me to ask you three questions. Again with this? First question. You have seen this corpse more than twice. Three times, in fact. When was the first time? Days ago, Saturday night when I sinked at Abyss. Yes, in the Somnium world, we saw the frozen corpse of a girl. Question two Who is the girl? Now I know. That girl was probably Alice. Most likely, yes. So we have technically known Alice for three days. One last thing. The final question. In which Somnium did we see Alice? I understand your logic. Alice in So Somnium. In that sense, your answer is not incorrect. However, I mean specifically Alice's frozen corpse. Whose brain were we sent to then? My roommate, Mizuki Okiura. Exactly. You mentioned something about Mizuki's Somnium being some kind of prophecy. But prophecies are nonsense. Dreams are not made of the future. They are made from the past. Therefore... Mizuki has seen Alice before. There is no other explanation. Aiba, where is Mizuki now? 
where we went with Iris yesterday, the Kume Shrine. The Shrine? Why would she be there? Unknown. She is supposed to be looking for Iris. Okay, let's go. Date. Did you find Iris? If I did, I would have told you already. Right. Iris used to like this shrine. She told me about all her memories here. We used to come here all the time. You know those steps in the front? We would sit there together and talk about things. Like what gluten-free means and eyelash extensions and aerial yoga. And we would talk about all our problems together. Sometimes we would talk late into the night. So I thought that maybe she'd be here. But it looks like I was wrong. I think he's searching Akihabara right now. Last time he checked in, he said he didn't have anything. I think Iris is with Renju. With Daddy? Yeah. Her note mentioned her most trusted person. That's probably Renju. Yeah. I remember that mermaid girl saying something like that. He was looking for Iris. Does that mean that Daddy is the one who called for Iris? It could be. So I need to know where he is. But I haven't been able to get a hold of him. Mizuki, I have something very important to ask you. You've seen her before, haven't you? Three days ago, I saw her in your Somnium. The body of a girl who looks like Iris, Alice. Your dreams are built from your memories. So that corpse... Mizuki, please, answer me. Iris's life is at stake. Huh? What do you mean? I need to know everything about Alice. If I find out who she is, I might be able to solve the mystery of Renju in number 89. And that might lead me to Iris. office at Lemnus Gate. I was peeking through a crack in the door so he didn't see me. Daddy got up, 
then got into his car and drove away. I had never seen him like that before. I was curious, so I followed him in a taxi. That led me to the cold storage warehouse. He got out of his car and went inside. I followed right behind him, quietly. Daddy was standing next to the forklift in the back. I hid behind a shelf. I watched Daddy open the hood of the forklift, and then, after a little bit, he left. I wanted to know what he was looking at. I went over to the forklift, and I looked under the hood myself. And then... You saw Alice's dead body. But at the time, I thought it was Iris. The corpse looked exactly like Iris. I couldn't believe she was dead. I just couldn't. So I went to Iris's house. Huh? What's wrong, Mizuki? Iris was alive. I thought I was going crazy. Or dreaming. I tried to convince myself that it was just a hallucination. What was I supposed to do? Daddy would have been in trouble. So you kept quiet this whole time? Yeah. What do you mean? I couldn't just ask. It would have changed everything. I thought that as long as I stayed quiet, everything would be okay. I didn't see a dead body. I wasn't even at the warehouse. I repeated that to myself over and over and tried to forget the whole thing. Repressed memories are often the subject of somnia. That's why Alice showed up during the sink. I actually met with one of the higher-ups at Daddy's company last night, before I went to Matsushita Diner. Why? Because you asked about the cold storage. I was curious. I asked around some, and... I found out that Daddy was managing the warehouse before I was born. After my grandpa died, Daddy took over. In exchange for managing the warehouse, he gave ownership of the company to someone else. I guess he didn't want to let this place go. Or maybe he couldn't let it go. That's more accurate, I think. But I understand why. Inside that warehouse was... Alice. On paper, Daddy has nothing to do with Okiura Fishery. Daddy was still managing the warehouse. And he was the only one allowed in there, too. That was part of the agreement when he gave up the company. And the whole thing had to be a secret. He really stressed that point. Hey, Mizuki. How long was he managing the warehouse? For 18 years. That's what the man told me. 18 years? From that long ago? Yes. Iba, I need an emergency search. Missing persons from 18 years ago. Understood. Huh? Date, I found her. The girl who looks like Iris. What's her name? Monica Ewai. 19 years old at the time of her disappearance. A graduate of a Toku high school. What? Renju was my classmate at a Toku High. We've known each other for 20 years now. When I was young, I... I lost someone very important to me. Monica Ui, my best friend. One of the only friends I had. Alice's... Monica. Itomi's friend who went to the same school as her and Renju. But why? 
Monka's body was found just now. But even back then, Hitomi knew. She knew that Monica was already dead. Aiba, where is Hitomi right now? At headquarters for questioning. MPD still believes that the body they discovered was Iris. Got it. Contact boss. Have them bring Hitomi to Abyss. Roger that. You're awfully calm. You saw the corpse of your daughter today. You were called into the station to confirm her identity. And yet here you are, cool as a cucumber, even though you lost your precious daughter. Shall I guess why? Her name is EY Monica. She has been missing for 18 years. She was 19 years old at the time she went missing. Monica, Hitomi Sagan, and Renju Okiura all attended a Toku High School. Because that body isn't Iris. And you know it. Are you serious? Yes. Her name is Monica Iwai. She was killed when she was 19. She went to the same high school as you, and she was your best friend. Isn't that right? Nothing to say for yourself? Hiding something? Maybe you killed her with Renju. That's ridiculous. Oh, now you're talking. But we know Renju committed a crime. Illegally disposing of a body. And we can prove it. Monica's corpse was hidden under the hood of a forklift in Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. This warehouse has been under Renju's management for 18 years. Mizuki witnessed Renju checking on the corpse. This of course means that Renju knew about Monica. cold storage warehouse where the body was found. It's been managed by Renju Okiura for almost two decades now, and witness testimony proves that he knew about the corpse there. And if I'm not mistaken, you knew about the corpse too, Hitomi. You and Renju have been close since high school. It's not too much of a stretch to think that he told you about the body, and I remember you telling me once. When I was young, I... I lost someone very important to me. Monica Iwai, my best friend. One of the only friends I had. How did you know that she was dead? I didn't. Don't play dumb. I know you're hiding something. You know what happened 18 years ago. And you knew she was pregnant. You were her best friend. Of course you would have known. Tell me. Tell me everything! Date, she's not going to talk. Sync with her. Date, I'm sure I've told you enough times by now, but please, come back within six minutes. I can't promise you that, Pewter. What do you mean? I mean, I'm not coming back until I find something. Date, you can't! Why not? You know why! Because it will take over my consciousness? Yes! But if it's only a little... No, not even a little! If the sink passes the critical point, the damage will be irreparable! But what does that mean exactly?
No. I'm not hiding anything. Then let's try it. Let's experiment with my mind. Then we'll know for sure what'll happen. Ugh, fine. I'll just say it. Yeah? Pewter, tell him. Me? You know more about it than I do. <sighs> well... Well, first off, six minutes is not a hard limit. It could be seven, or even eight. I don't care about the exact time. I'm asking what happens if you go beyond the limit. Do you remember the story I told you about the egg? Yeah, why? If you imagine an egg as your consciousness, the yolk is what goes into the subject's brain. The white remains inside your shell. If you go beyond the limit, your yolk will not be able to return to its shell. Because the subject's mind will start to take over the sinker's consciousness, right? I know that part already. Indeed. But there's more to it. After the yolk is devoured, the egg white is brought through the machine next. Huh? And there's more. It's not just the sinker's brain. The same process eventually occurs in the subjects as well. In other words, the entire egg ends up being replaced. Mind, consciousness, memory, they are traded, switched. The human brain has what can be understood as a memory limit. One brain can only hold one consciousness. And it can only contain one person's memories. Now you know everything. Talk to the boss. unaware of this as well. This information is not on any accessible databases. We had to prevent the possibility that the system could be exploited. Exploited? But... Even if it wasn't you, someone else might try. We didn't tell any sinkers this, including you. A Project Sink is a top secret project. It's a matter of national security. Even sinkers are on a need-to-know basis. Think about it. What if you were kidnapped by bad people who tried to make you talk? Bad people? A criminal organization, spies from another country, those people. If you blabbed about Project Sync, the entire country might be at risk. You heard it from Pewter. The Sync machine isn't just for entering a person's somnium. It can also be used to swap bodies between two people. Imagine what this machine would be used for in the wrong hands. That's why I didn't tell you. We can't let this secret get out. Swapping bodies between two people? Trading minds? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Are you really okay? I'm fine. Start it. Understood. Let us begin.
god? I am the god of fire. I burn erotic books with my flames of red-hot anger! My, how ruthless. Ow! Are you okay? That hurt. I'll let you read this porno mag if it'll make you feel better. I will burn it. The fog is making it pitch black. The light over there. Is that a firefly? Somnium scan. Activate. Disappeared? No, wait. It might still be nearby. A flower bud. I cannot identify the variety. Worship it? Yeah. I will pray to it as though I am mourning the dead. Caused it, but it's better than nothing happening. A rock. But it's... a rock. Gods live in the rocks too, you know. A rather Japanese way of thinking. Just try it. If you insist. How was it? You've cleared your head, right? Yes. I now feel a sense of emptiness. Guess it was a waste of time. I do not want to hear that from you. a tree. I may be able to fit inside. I am not going to be eaten or anything, right? Whoa! I fell, but I am still in the forest. It's darker than before. What? Is someone there? Hey! That voice is... Find out where that voice is coming from. A hole in the tree. It looks about as big around as a soccer ball. Understood. I will do my best.
this is... a picture of Hitomi, Renju, and Monica. Everyone is so young. Hold on to that. Renju Okiura. Renju, look at this. Wait! Renju, stop! Yeah, go ahead. Understood. Huh. Uh, it's even more difficult to see now. Another voice? Monica! That's Hitomi's voice! Where is she? Look for her! Another hole in a tree. About as big as a capybara, I estimate. Those are pretty big. Hitomi! Date likes Hitomi! Hey, what are you trying to say? Hitomi won't remember this sink. But still... Hitomi stopped. I won't get sucked in, right? Hmm? A cord bracelet has appeared on my wrist. Perhaps it belongs to someone. It might be important. Hold on to it. Hitomi. Do you remember this? Wait! Follow her! On it! Three minutes, Date. Large hole. Was this here before? If there is nothing left to do. <laughs> Date, what is going on? I don't know. It's pitch black. I can't see anything. I see. Then it is not me malfunctioning. Can you feel your way around? I can try.
A Lycoris flower. Let's do it. Wh what? Another hole. You've less than two hole. minutes, Date. Hurry. We've come this far. I will not protest now. Huh? That is... But tell me, I think I know what happened 18 years ago. You three were close. You, Monica, and Renju. Monica was murdered. You and Renju found the body in the mountains. And you brought it back to the cold storage warehouse. And my guess is so Sejima killed Monica. I've seen inside his head before, using this machine. I see. If you know that much, then there's no point in hiding it anymore. I'll tell you the truth. Wait, you're going to see So? Yes. I want to talk to him in person. No, you can't. Why not? Are you worried about my body? You don't have to worry about that. I'm totally fine. But your stomach is still... Oh, my doctor told me that's normal. Your stomach doesn't go down right away after giving birth. I'm not worried about your body. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. So doesn't care about you. And especially not your child. I haven't told him about giving birth. He contacted me for the first time in a while. So that's why... He wants to know about the baby. He must be panicking. If anyone ever finds out his mistress had his baby, his political career would be over. It's not like it was an affair. His wife passed away after giving birth to his son, right? It would still be a big scandal. He impregnated a girl who just graduated high school. Don't you see how that looks? He knew how the public would take it. That's why he gave you the money to... Deal with it. There's no way he'll accept that child. It's okay. I told him that I won't cause any trouble. But 
Could you take care of the baby? Just for a little bit? I'll be right back. Fine. But take this with you, just in case. It's a GPS transmitter. Just to be extra safe. I really don't think I'll need it. But okay, if it'll make you feel better. I don't know what Monica saw in So. She said he was kind and loyal, that he wanted to change Japan, but I didn't understand any of it. We tried to convince her to break up with him so many times. She never listened, and it ended in tragedy. What happened next, you already know. Neither Renju or I saw it happen, so I don't know how much of this is accurate, but we could guess what happened. Renju told me. But you said he wasn't there. He heard some of this from the Kumakuras. Renju had connections with them. How did the Kumakuras know? So told them. So contacted his friend, the chairman of the Kumakuras. He asked him to dispose of the body and left the scene with the culprit. The incident was 18 years ago. That means the chairman was Rohan, not MoMA. Rohan went to the scene of the crime? Yes, with some of his men. He told her to move overseas. He said he'd pay for everything. Date, you said that Monica was killed by So, right? But that's not true. Monica was killed by Saito Sejima, the son of So and his late wife. Saito was 12 at the time. 12? Yes. But why would a little boy do that? I don't know. I can't imagine. Again, neither Renju or I saw this. We were just waiting at my house for Monica to return. But she never came back. We tried to call her cell, but it didn't connect. But then, we saw movement on the GPS. The GPS Renju gave to Monica? Yes. At first, we thought she was on her way home. But we saw the GPS getting further and further away from the city. Renju and I got nervous, and we decided to follow it. What about the baby? We couldn't take the baby with us, so Renju gave the baby to the mob doctor he trusted. Those are Kumakura men. We didn't dare move. We couldn't speak. We were barely breathing. We could only watch as it all unfolded. I knew what the hole was for, but I couldn't move. Couldn't do anything. I remember my heart beating so fast. Before long. We good here? Yeah. Cover her. 
Just a minute. body, then left. Renju and I ran over, and dug up the grave with a tree branch. What? We saw. Not yet. Why not? You don't know who those guys are. They would do anything to keep this hidden. I've seen it happen myself. I know what they're capable of. Anyway, think about it. Why would they do this? They thought Monica and her baby were going to be trouble. Monica's stomach was still pretty big. I don't think they know that she gave birth already. What do you think they'd do if they found out? They would take her and kill her too. And then, they'd come for us. They'd make it look like we disappeared. All of us would be... gone. Renju convinced me. He knew more about the dirty underbelly of society than anyone. He knew when something couldn't be handled by the police. He said that they would do anything to kill the child. And I believed him. We had to protect Monica's baby. We had to. No matter what. Okay. I understand. I decided to trust him. <laughs> 